Hi there. So this video is all about the accounting equation, source documents, and the accounting cycle. Now it was made to show repeat images and what they represent for the accounting visual notes. However, it can be used as an intro to accounting regardless of whether you use those notes or not. So let's jump into the accounting equation. It is written as assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And underneath each section here, we have images that represent different accounts that you would find there. The first section is assets, and these are anything of value owned by the business. So you'll see the first one represented by this dollar bill here, that is cash. And it's not typically a stack of money on the business owner's desk. It is a checking account balance. It's liquid, meaning that they have access to it at any time, but it's not typically like dollar bills. It's an account balance. Next up under assets, we have accounts receivable. And this is of value to us because it means that we sold something to a customer, but they have not yet paid us. So you'll see the you owe me. It means that somebody, a customer will be paying us money, but they haven't yet done so. And those are represented by accounts receivable accounts. Next up, we have supplies, and then we have prepaid insurance. All of those are things of value that the business owns. Next up, we have accounts payable under liabilities, and this is where we have purchased something, but we have not yet paid for it. And so it's an IOU. It's a bill that we need to pay. It's a liability that we need to pay to another business. And those are all represented by accounts payable accounts. Next up, we have owner's equity. And you'll see that we have four images that represent owner's equity accounts. The first one is representing an investment. And an example of this would be if the business owner starts a business and they want to put their some of their personal money into the business, they make an investment. It increases owner's capital and it increases cash. So you'll see an asset increases and an owner's equity account increases. But investment, that's when the money is being put into the business. Then we have revenue. That's any money coming in by sales. Then we have expenses. That's money going out to pay for things like rent and utilities and advertising. Then we have withdraw. And withdraw is when a business owner takes money out for personal use. So even if it's a sole proprietorship and there is one business owner, they should keep their records or personal records and their business records separate. And so they have the right to take money out whenever they want to take it out of their business and use it for personal use, but they do need to keep those records separate. And that's what this account represents. It's the owner taking money or any asset out for personal use. A tip on owner's equity here, anytime that the business is smiling, it will be on the credit side. Anytime the business is frowning, it will be on the debit side. And if you don't know what debits and credits are yet, no big deal, we'll get to that. But just as a reminder, if the business is smiling, it's a credit. So the business would be smiling for an investment and for revenue. The business would not be smiling, it might be frowning for expenses and withdrawals. So keep those in mind for debits and credits. And lastly, for the accounting equation, it must always be in balance. So if you increase an asset, you need to either decrease another asset or you need to increase an asset when you increase a liability or owner's equity. So lots more on that in future videos, but remember that the accounting equation must always be in balance. Okay, moving on to source documents. We have five images here that represent source documents. And source documents are the documents that represent the source. And this is where the paper trail starts. So accounting is all about keeping track of where money comes from and where it's going to. They are very detailed records for what's going on in terms of the finances for the business. So the first source document where the paper trail starts is a check. And businesses, anytime they write a check, they keep a check stub as the source document. Next up, we have an invoice. We have a receipt. We have calculator tape, which calculator tape is not typically calculator tape anymore. It's typically a printout from a point of sale system. But what it represents is it represents daily sales. So if you have customers coming to your store, your place of business, and they pay cash, maybe you have 10, 20, 1,000 customers a day that come to your store and pay with cash. Well, calculator tape or a daily printout of sales represents all of those cash purchases for that entire day. 
Then we have a memorandum. Now, a memorandum is a catch-all. A memorandum is something that is written on numbered paper. It's specific paper, but it's any time that there is not another source document. And so it is a, a catch-all. Anytime there's not another source document, an accountant will write or someone in the business will write a memorandum to represent the start of that paper trail. Okay, so like I said, that this goes with the accounting visual notes. And so throughout the visual notes, if you use those, the little ribbon tied around the finger is to represent something that was learned previously. So it's just a reminder of something that was previously learned. Also, this little linked chain here, this represents that all of the steps of the accounting cycle are linked together. And so they're all interconnected. Like I said, source documents start that paper trail and it goes all the way through the accounting cycle, which speaking of the accounting cycle, the first thing we do is analyze transactions. We use those source documents to start. We use those source documents to analyze transactions. After that, we journalize and post to the ledger and that continues that paper trail. Then accountants prepare a worksheet, and that's a working paper where accountants make sure all of their numbers make sense and are accurate, and they use that worksheet to prepare financial statements. And financial statements, such as the income statement and the balance sheet, those are things that business owners and managers use. They're nice, neat little reports that they use to make educated decisions about what they should do with the business. Financial statements are also used by investors to determine if they want to invest or if they should continue to invest in certain companies. Next, we journalize and post adjusting and closing entries. And then lastly, we do a post-closing trial balance to make sure one more time that all those debits equal credits and to make sure that all of our records are complete and accurate. So there we go. That is the accounting equation, source documents, and the accounting cycle. If you would like this as a free download, click the link below to get it. If you want to learn more about the accounting visual notes as a whole, you can click those links below as well and or watch other videos about them. Thanks for watching.